Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try this Trader Joe's Mini Cheeseburgers. There are three cheeseburgers in the box. It's a fully cooked seasoned beef patty with cheddar cheese and burger sauce. Mm, nestled between a sweet aloha roll. Um, we bought these at Trader Joe's, of course. They were $4.49, which is three, so that's not too bad. Um, 7.02 ounces or 199 grams. Um, Here's your info for you. So it's 190 calories per burger or 580 if you eat all three. I'm just going to heat up all three of them. There's your other information for you. Uh, let's see. Here's the direction. So it says heat from frozen so you don't thaw them out first. Um, here's the conventional oven directions. Of course, we don't do ovens, but there they are. We're going to do the microwave. So microwave heat times vary, of course. Uh, so we're going to remove the burgers from the plastic packaging, wrap the burgers with a damp paper towel, and place in a microwave safe plate. I'm just going to use a paper plate. Heat on high for 50 seconds for one burger or one minute and 20 seconds for all three burgers, which is what I'm going to do all three. So one minute and 20 seconds. So let's see what these look like. They are taped. Oh, okay. So they're all wrapped together. And I'm, I was interested in the burger sauce. Uh, I've got a paper towel, uh, a damp paper towel lying on this paper plate here. I'm going to open this. Yeah, they look like a, a Hawaiian sweet roll. So there they are. I'm going to lay those right there. And we'll see. Really can't separate anything, so I'm just going to leave them alone um, with how they are. I'll do just like that. I'm going to get them in the microwave, and I'll be back in, in just a second. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. I haven't even opened the paper towel yet so to see what they look like. Okay, they definitely softened up some. Uh, the cheese kind of ran everywhere which typical um, typically happens um yeah there you go it looks like a good cheese though it doesn't look like a really like a watery cheese it actually looks like cheese real cheese this one just kind of ran off everywhere so anyway i'm going to uh let these set for just a minute take it over the table and uh, we'll give it a shot we'll see what they taste like all right so i didn't really let them cool off for very long i just kind of pulled it apart to make sure the steam escaped a little bit but here we go. I'm going to try this one right here. Pretty decently thick little burger patty. Um, I thought these were going to be similar to like a White Castles because they kind of look like White Castles. Nowhere near it. Um, the First of all, the burger patties are thicker. Um, the rolls taste different. Theirs is, White Castle is just like our traditional roll. And this doesn't have all the onions that White Castle's does. So if you like those onions, you're going to miss it on these. Um, I really like the taste of the burger itself. It has a really good charred flavor. Like you actually grilled them on a grill, like a charcoal grill um, or just a gas grill. But um, it doesn't taste like it's fried. It actually has that charred flavor a little bit. The cheese actually tastes the cheese. And I'm not sure about a burger sauce. Um, there's some sauce on there that could be adding some of that, that smoky charred flavor. Maybe it's the sauce that's doing that. Good texture on the bread. It's not tough or chewy. It's a really nice texture. The bread is... is uh, you know, it didn't dry out or anything in the microwave, which is a good thing, because sometimes it does get a little dry. Um, of course, all the microwaves are a little bit different. Um, this one is just barely what I consider hot enough to really enjoy. It needs to be just a little bit hotter. So I would probably do, instead of 120, I'd probably go 130 in my microwave. Yours might be perfect, but for mine, all three of them, I think I would just go an additional 10 seconds. I think it'll push it over the edge and make it a little bit hotter. Um, like I said, it's hot enough. It's just not hot. You know the burger patty itself has a little bit of that um but you can tell it's actually hamburger patted into a patty so it's not like a fake hamburger but it does feel like it has a little bit of filler in it to give it a little bit more of a of a different texture than just a traditional like hand patty hamburger you'd have at home um, it does feel like it has some um, something in there uh, some kind of filler i don't i don't know that it does i'm just saying it kind of gives you that texture difference um so it seems like it does
it's like a squishier texture or so yeah you know, I, don't, I don't know if it like i said i don't know if it does use the filler it just seems like it it might i love the amount of cheese i mean look at all that cheese and i really do like the sauce um the sauce is not what you consider like spicy or anything like that it's just uh it has a smoky flavor to it but it's not like barbecue it's more of a like a burger sauce you know it's just got a little bit of smoky um seasoning to it but not like like an onion garlic kind of flavor but but not like spicy or anything like that um overall i do like these i like the texture of them i think that they did a really good job on these um just know the burger has got just a little bit of that squishy texture that that a lot of uh out to eat burgers do and um but the flavors are really really good it's just a pure uh burger with cheese with a little bit of that smoky uh flavor from i'm pretty sure it's coming from the sauce so overall i think these are pretty good i'm actually going to give these a four out of five i would i would get these again and again I, I wouldn't mind eating these at all um they don't need ketchup or mustard or mayo or anything but you're more than welcome to dip it into it or put it on top of it um, if you want to i think it'd be really good so i uh, hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching